Hello everyone, this is chapter 12, part 10. This is the very last part of chapter 12. In this part, we'll talk about multi-plant firms, profit maximization and pricing decision, okay? So multi-plant firms, basically a company has more than one plant or factory, okay? If a firm, let's say, produces in two plants, A and B, the total cost of producing in any given level of output Q total, right, is minimized when production is allocated such that marginal cost in different plants are equal to each other. What if I have more than two marginal cost D? So you are to produce such that marginal cost is equal to each other. Let's say if you have this marginal cost of producing a new glass, right, you're producing glass drinking uh, dinnerware. Okay, here the marginal cost of producing a dozen is $10 in the first plant A. In plant B, the cost of producing it is $6. What you should do is to actually produce more in plant B. That's what you should be doing and lower the production in plant A. That's basically the idea of what we're doing here. So you need to produce total quantity, allocate in different factories such that marginal cost across different plants is equal to, are equal to each other. The total marginal cost curve is the horizontal summation of all plants marginal cost curves which gives the additional total addition to the total cost attributable to increasing the total output by one unit. So I want to increase output by one unit. What's the increase in my total cost? Okay. Profit maximizing total output is that for which marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost, but not the just marginal cost in one unit, but the total marginal cost in all units added horizontally. Here's an example. This is a multi-plant firm example. So this is a marginal cost curve in plant A. Okay, very steep. That means it's higher marginal cost. It's cheaper to produce in plant B, okay? How do we add them? We add them horizontally. That means total marginal cost curve looks something like this, okay? You don't add them vertically, you add them horizontally, okay? So therefore at each price level, right? At each cost level, how many can I produce? How many can I produce? Add them up, right? And then you get the total quantity. So we're going to put our attention, full attention to this total marginal cost curve, right? Marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Okay, I need to produce a total quantity of 175 units. How am I going to produce these units between different factories? This is what you're going to do. So 175, right? Price then cost dollars here and then you find 20 right so then at this 20 price level actually cost level marginal cost level that's going to be the mca equals mcb equals 20 all right go hit the marginal cost of the first factory in the first factory you're going to produce qa is going to be 50 units Start from 20, go hit the second factory plant, right? 25, so QB is going to be 125. Total is going to be 175. So this next one is the Mercantile Express example. Uh, we are not going to go deep into this. It's the same identical idea, mathematical solution. Uh, we are not going to cover this. And that's it for chapter 12. Go over the summary of chapter 12.